we're here in the elevator of the Crown Casino here at the Australian Open where all the stars of the game stay. Now, Roger Federer, the number one player in the world, has invited us open access up to his suite. That's why I brought him a gift. The hallway to the number one player in the world. What a surprise, they're here. <laughs> It's Murphy. Hi. Hey. No, don't give me flowers. Come on. <laughs> All right. This is the room. Yeah. Um, what can I say? It's a room, eh? another hotel room. Yeah. One of where I'm staying at for 11 months of the year. You know, Lindsay Davenport books her own travel. How about you? Who takes care of the travel? Well, Mirka does everything. Really? Uh, we try to um, sort of stay what we used to most of the time. Mm -hmm. And if we had a bad experience, well, we, we move on. And, mm -hmm. and we've enjoyed staying here now at the Crown for quite some time. I see you've got a lot of shoes. Yeah, you've got to be ready and prepared. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Nike provides me with plenty, so it's good. And mm -hmm. uh, then once they're used, like the, the second one to the right here, mm -hmm. um, you, you can see the difference here. Let me show you. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, you see here, it's really worn out. Yeah. Um, other guys really rip them apart on top, you know, when they serve yeah. and slice and stuff. So then, you know, we, I also like to give them away for auctioning off. Yeah. They don't smell bad. All right, take me around your room, I see. What is Yeah, that? we got the massage table here, actually. Mm -hmm. So I just had a massage with my physio. Mm -hmm. He arrived today. So this, I spend about two hours every day on yeah. this, you know, stretching in the morning, massage in the evening, sometimes stretching also in the evening mm -hmm. to keep me in shape, more to prevent than actually to really treat the, the problems. Mm -hmm. I always like to do that. So this is a mini bar, mm -hmm. couch, um, nice TV, big TV. I watch all the night session here, you know, of the Auss Aussie Open and uh, yeah, I, I watch quite a bit of You watch the tennis? I watch a lot of tennis. Yeah. Really? I like to watch it, yeah. yeah. Mirka gets sometimes a little bit upset with me that it's too much, you know? Oh, really? Or do you watch more guys or girls when you watch it? Whatever is on. Oh, really? I try to watch the guys, obviously, but yeah. I enjoy, you know, also watching the women's. Uh, uh, Lindsay, we've got to meet her more, you know, so I like to watch her. Over here, this is the bedroom. Tennis players are well-known nappers. Mm. Are you a napper? Oh, I never do. I never take a nap. Really? I cannot do it. And if I do it, it means I'm really tired. So I try really not to do it, but uh, sometimes it, it happens. So. Uh, and your sleeping pattern, since we're in the bedroom, do you sleep, do you stay up late? I've heard you stay up late. I used to go to bed quite late, always after 12, 1 o'clock, and mm -hmm. then wake up at 10, 11. So it's quite a, a different rhythm than you normal yeah. people are, are used to. Um, but now I've tried to change it, go to bed earlier, wake up earlier, so I have more of the day. Yeah. You know, I, and I, I heard, you know, the saying that the hours before 12, they count double, don't they? What are you listening to these days? Well, what do I listen to? I, li I used to listen to a lot of dance. Mm -hmm. Then I went into the rock music, you mm -hmm. know, when I started to work with Peter Lundgren. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, yeah, he's the yes. big guitar. And then ACDC came along, Metallica. And, and then, you know, I was always listening to all the the charts, you know, on yeah. the radio and stuff, just the regular music. Everybody AC, DC, to. you've been to the concert Twice. Where? I had meet and greet, once uh, actually in Basel, my hometown, mm -hmm. and one time in, uh, in Florida. So you're not the type of player that before a match throws on his tunes and he's no. back in black. No, no, no. no I'm very relaxed. Uh, yeah. yeah, we could be chatting 15 minutes before the match and then I would say, sorry Murph, I got to warm up and, yeah. then I, and then I'm off. Oh. I saw that at the US Open oh, you this did? year. Okay. Well, you know, you came out to the courts and what blew me away was I was hitting with Gavin and, yeah. and you'd remembered your friend, you know, you, you brought him a gift. We're talking about Gavin Rossdale, who you met at the U.S. Open. Exactly. We went to his concert actually during the U.S. Open. Yeah. Institute concert. It was one of those, I don't know, how you go, was it in a bar or where it was it? It was the Bowery Room, a famous yeah, like, in New York. punk yeah, club. Like, exactly. It was really good fun. And I took my mom along, you yeah. know. My girlfriend was there too. And uh, 
And you know, some of my friends and my mom, my mom was going like, oh, you know, it was, I, could, I couldn't believe it. You know, it was the first time I went to a concert with her. But uh -huh. I really started to enjoy listening to, to his band, Institute, yeah, yeah a lot. And uh, I got to meet him, it was, it was great.